What's going on guys, the CTA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to run Android 9.0, otherwise known as Android Pie, on your desktop or laptop. We're going to be using a distribution called Bliss OS. Now this thing has been really awesome. It's still under heavy development, so you might run into some bugs here and there. But for me, on the system that I'm using, it's actually been pretty stable. Before we get started, there is one big letdown with Bliss OS, and I know it's going to turn a lot of people off. There is no Google Play Store pre-installed, and personally, I haven't even taken the time to figure out how to install it. I usually just use Aptoid. They also have F-Droid pre-installed. But Aptoid will allow you to go through and download pretty much everything that's on Google Play. You might run into a few compatibility issues here and there. But overall, it's been pretty decent on Android devices that don't have Google Play pre-installed. It'll definitely get you by. Now, personally, I would just run Android x86, and if you're interested in installing that, I'll leave a link to a video I created on a full tutorial. But if you want to get up and running with Bliss OS, I'm going to show you how to install it. Really easy to do. But the look of Bliss OS can be totally customized if we go to Blissify. Status bar, buttons, quick settings, lock screen, recents, gestures, animations, interface, Bliss theme. We can go with dark if we want to and I don't think I changed this one. It also has another launcher built in that's really awesome for laptops and desktops. The taskbar launcher. Now I have had a few issues on this newest release with the taskbar option. Every once in a while it will flicker on me, but overall it does make for an awesome Android desktop interface. So if you guys are interested in installing Bliss OS, Let's move over to another computer. We're gonna flash this to a USB drive. Then we're gonna move back to the computer we wanna install it on and get started. But before we do that, there's a few things we're gonna need. Obviously, we're gonna need a PC to install this on or run it from the USB on. We can use a laptop or a desktop. As for the requirements, they're pretty vague, but in my experience, this should work on pretty much any laptop or desktop as long as it was made after 2006. You could get lucky and run it on something earlier, but I personally haven't tested it. I'm going to be installing my copy on an Optiplex 3020 with an i3-4170, 4GB of RAM, and the built-in Intel HD 4400 graphics. The next thing you're going to need is a USB drive. I recommend using a USB 2.0 drive. I have had a few issues with 3.0 drives not working correctly, but 4GB should be enough to install it. I recommend at least an 8. I'll leave links to the exact one I use in the description. There'll be Amazon links so you can pick one up. Before we start installing this to a hard drive or an SSD, we can test it out from the USB drive and run it in live mode, but nothing will be saved to that USB drive. If it works on your PC and you're happy with how it performs on the USB, we could install it to a hard drive or an SSD. I'm going to be using a $30, 240GB PNY SSD to install this to, but like I mentioned, you can always test it out running it live from the USB. Now, when installing this to the drive, we're going to wipe that whole drive. So I recommend using something fresh, like a new drive or something that has data on it you do not need to keep. On my channel, I just don't deal with dual boot or triple boot systems. And finally, we're going to need another functioning computer to flash the USB drive. This will work with Windows, Mac, or Linux, so it's pretty much got you covered any way you go. I'm going to be using a Windows machine to download all of the software and flash it to the USB. With all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so let's go ahead and flash our USB drive with Bliss OS. First thing we're going to need to do is plug our USB drive into our PC. I have a USB 2.0, 32GB drive here. Like I mentioned, an 8GB drive is going to work just fine. All links mentioned will be in the description. First one we're going to go to is blissroms.com. So we can click on download. The very bottom here, Bliss OS x86. We want to download now. You can donate if you'd like to or go to Downloads. We have Nougat, Oreo, or Pi. We're going to go with Pi, Android 9. From here, we're going to go to Generic Builds, unless you're on a Surface tablet. We're going to get Generic, and we're going to grab the Official. Give it a second to start downloading. There's a big forum thread over on XDA. I'll also leave a link there. There's tons of information here and lots of people have asked questions about it. If you run into any issues, I'd definitely check here first. And finally, we're going to need to download an application to flash Bliss OS to a USB drive. I recommend Etcher. 
This will work with Mac, Linux, or Windows. I'm going to go with the 64-bit portable version. Should download fairly quickly. When my Bliss ROM and Etcher are downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and place them on my desktop for easy access. So now that I have Bliss OS downloaded and Etcher, we're going to go ahead and start Etcher up. So from within Etcher, we want to choose Select Image. We're going to need to navigate to where we downloaded Bliss OS. Mine's on my desktop. I'm going to double click. We can change the drive we want to flash it to. Make sure you're flashing to the USB drive we want to flash to. This is that 32 gigabyte SanDisk USB 2.0 drive. Click continue and flash. It's going to start the flash, then it's going to verify the file system on the USB drive when it's done. Give it a little bit of time. This really depends on how fast the USB drive is. My USB drive is finished flashing. All I need to do now is remove the drive from this PC and move over to the PC we want to install or run Bliss OS on. Now we're going to have to boot from the USB drive, so we're going to have to enter the boot menu on that PC. On this Dell Optiplex that I'm using, while it's starting up, if I press F12 a few times, it'll bring me to the boot menu and I can choose that USB drive to boot from. All manufacturers use a different hotkey. Some use F2, some use F8, F11, F12, or delete. The best way to find out is do a quick Google search on the manufacturer of your PC and how to enter the boot menu. Some computers show it as you're booting up, like this Dell you'll see in a second. It'll tell me, press F12 to enter the boot menu. So that's what I'm going to do for this. We're now ready to run or install Bliss OS on the other PC, so we're going to move over there now. Alright, so here we are with that Dell Optiplex. First up, I need to plug in my keyboard dongle for my wireless mouse and keyboard. Next up, I also have a wireless Wi-Fi adapter. You can get these on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. And finally, our USB drive that we flashed with Bliss OS. So like I mentioned, when we first boot this up, we can just run it from the USB drive to make sure everything works, but I'm going to be installing this onto an SSD. I just have a cheap PNY 240 gigabyte SSD installed in here, no other drives, and I'm not worried about what's on here because it's going to wipe it if I install Bliss OS. So I got everything plugged in. All I need to do now is power it up and enter the boot menu. It's F12 on this Dell here. Your system may be different. So while it's starting up, we'll just tap F12 a few times and we'll be brought to the boot menu. I'm going to get a bit closer so it's easier to see here. So at the very top we have a legacy boot option. Now if this is the only option you have, go ahead and choose the USB storage device. But this system has a UEFI BIO, so I'm going to go ahead and boot that SanDisk UEFI. Like I mentioned, if you only have legacy boot, it might not even show up as legacy boot, but choose the USB drive to boot from. So I have that SanDisk drive highlighted. I'm going to press enter, and here we are at the grub menu. If you're interested in just running this live and testing it out, which I definitely suggest doing first, choose the first option, Bliss OS Live. This will run it live from the USB. Nothing will be saved or stored when you reboot. If you want to run live again, you're going to have to restart from scratch. This is a great way to test out if your system works with Bliss OS well or not. I know that this system works fine with it, so I'm going to head down to Advanced Options, and right here, Bliss OS Auto Install to Specified Hard Disk. I'm going to highlight this and press enter. Give it a few seconds to get to the installation screen. This is the easiest way to install it to a hard drive or an SSD. If you have multiple hard drives in your system, make sure you choose the hard drive you want to install to. Like I mentioned, this is going to wipe the whole drive. The first option here is my hard disk or my SSD. It's a 240 gigabyte PNY. And if I choose to install to this disk, it's going to warn me that it's going to wipe the whole disk. Nothing's going to be left, so if you have any important data, don't wipe the disk. Find another drive to install to. From here, we're going to choose yes, because I'm 100% positive I want to erase this disk and install Bliss OS to it. Now, this is only going to take a few seconds if you're using an SSD. It's going to write it pretty quickly. When it's finished installing to the hard drive, it's going to ask you if you want to run Bliss OS or reboot. I recommend clicking reboot, click exit, pull your USB drive out, and we're going to re-enter the boot menu. Now you can set this up to boot from this hard drive or SSD every time. Just change your BIOS settings. As you can see here, I have an option for Android x86 and that's what I'm going to be booting from. This is going to give you a five second countdown so it will automatically boot into Bliss OS, but you can press enter if you want to. 
First boot will take longer than any other boot. It has to do some configuration on this drive. So just be patient and let it boot up. Every other time I start the system up, it's going to boot into Bliss OS within five seconds since I'm running that SSD. So we're now running Bliss OS on our PC from a hard drive. I'm just going to choose Quick Step. You can choose Taskbar if you'd like to. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and reconnect this to my screen capture device so I can get a better picture for you. I'm going to go over setting up Wi-Fi and downloading Aptoid. So if you've ever used an Android phone or tablet, you should get the hang of this pretty quickly. I'm just going to go over setting up Wi-Fi and installing Aptoid since we don't have Google Play pre-installed in Bliss OS. I'm going to drag down from the very top here, go to Settings, Network and Internet. I'm going to turn Wi-Fi on. It's going to search for a network. And I'm just going to connect to my network. Put in your password, click Connect. I'm now connected online. I'm going to open up Firefox. From the top here, I'm just going to search Aptoid. Install Aptoid. Android Pie is pretty picky about what it'll let you install. It's going to prompt you a few times. Complete action using Firefox. Always. Allow. It's now downloaded. Here's the APK. We're going to click on this. Settings and we're going to allow installations from Firefox. Back up, install, and we can open Aptoid. I'm just going to skip through here. You can read through it if you want. Now that we have Aptoid installed, we can start downloading our favorite app. So I'm just going to go for Geekbench. We're going to have to allow access here also. Give it a little time to download and it'll ask you if you want to install that application. Just click yes. And that's pretty much it. You now have Bliss OS running on your laptop or desktop. And like I mentioned in the beginning, you can always use the taskbar launcher if you want to. It makes real easy navigation for a desktop or a laptop. There's tons of information on Bliss OS over on the XDA forum. I recommend checking that out if you run into any issues. And if you can't find an answer there, let me know in the comments below. I really appreciate you watching. It'd be really cool if you hit that like button, maybe subscribe to the channel. And like always, thanks for watching.